On August 6, 1945, at 8.15 in the morning, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The atomic bomb codenamed Little Boy. It was the first nuclear weapon used in warfare. It was an attack during World War II. The bomb was dropped by the Boeing B-29 Superfortress. Piloted by Colonel Paul W. Tibbets and Captain Robert A. Lewis. Little Boy was developed by Lieutenant Commander Francis Birch's group at the Manhattan Projects in Los Alamos Laboratory. During the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer was the director of the Los Alamos Laboratory and responsible for the research and design of the Little Boy. He is often known as the father of the atomic bomb. The project had lasted about four years and cost nearly two billion U.S. dollar. The Little Boy was 120 inches in length, 28 inches in diameter, and weighed approximately 9,700 pounds. Let's explore the design journey in a detailed manner. Inside the weapon, the uranium-235 material was divided into two parts. Following the gun principle, the projectile, and the target. The projectile was a hollow cylinder with 60% of the total mass. It consisted of a stack of nine uranium rings. And the target consists of six uranium rings. Uranium is one of the more common elements in the Earth's crust. It can be found almost everywhere in rock, soil, rivers, and oceans. Just like other elements, uranium occurs in slightly different forms known as isotope. What makes these isotopes different from one another is the number of neutral particles or neutrons in the nucleus. Natural uranium is a mix of two isotopes. Uranium-238 accounting for more than 99%. And uranium-235, which is less than 1%. Usually, uranium-235 is used in nuclear weapons. To obtain the maximum amount of energy during the explosion of an atomic bomb. The content of 235 isotope in uranium should be at least 80%. Therefore, in the production of nuclear weapons, uranium is enriched further. These are four cylindrical silk bags of cordite powder. Cordite is a family of smokeless propellants. It is classified as a low explosive because of its slow burning rates and consequently low brisance. In the early morning of August 6, 1945, the B-29 Superfortress take off from Tinian. The bomber's primary target was the city of Hiroshima. Hiroshima had a civilian population of almost 300,000 and was a critical military center that included 43,000 soldiers. After six hours of flight, the aircraft arrived over the target in clear visibility. The bomb was dropped at approximately 8.15. After falling for 44.4 seconds. The time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. The fusing system was designed to trigger at the most destructive altitude, which calculations suggested was 1,500 feet. Radar altimeters were used to reliably detect final altitude. When the altimeters sensed the correct height, the firing switch closed, igniting the three gun primers, which detonate the six silk powder bags. This launched the uranium projectile towards the opposite end of the gun barrel at an eventual muzzle velocity of 300 meters per second. Approximately 10 milliseconds later, the nuclear chain reaction occurred. Nuclear fission is a nuclear radioactive decay process in which the hitting neutrons on the uranium atoms, then the uranium atoms split into two and it releases three neutrons. Each process releases two uranium atoms and three neutrons. A chain reaction of atom splitting and ensure that there is a constant source of heat. The fission process often produces gamma photons and releases a very large amount of energy, even by the energetic standards of radioactive decay. This makes the explosion. It detonated with the same force of 15 kilotons of TNT, forming a mushroom cloud about 60,000 feet tall and releasing radiation into the air. The explosion resulted in a flash of blinding light, followed by intense heat. 80,000 people were killed and destroying nearly every building within one mile of the epicenter. The radius of the affected area would be almost a mile long. This red circle indicates the radius of explosion fireball. Within the yellow circle, fatalities near 100% and all concrete structures are demolished. Within the green circle, most residential structures are destroyed and there are massive injuries and fatalities. The blue circle indicates the area in which third-degree radiation occurs. The damage came from three main effects. Blast, fire, and radiation. The blast-affected area was 1.8 kilometers from the epicenter. The blast from a nuclear bomb is the result of an X-ray heated air called fireball. 
The fireball was an extremely hot and highly luminous spherical mass of air and gaseous. That sent a shock wave in all directions, initially at a velocity greater than the speed of sound. Approximately all the people inside the area where the shock wave carried such an overpressure would be killed. The firestorm affected area was roughly 3.2 kilometers from the epicenter. Many fire victims also received lethal doses of nuclear radiation. An estimated 30% of immediate fatalities were people who received lethal doses of this direct radiation. Over 6,000 people survived in the blast and fire, but they died of radiation injuries. From which they recovered, but with a lifelong increase in cancer risk. After three days of the Hiroshima blast. The United States dropped the second atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. Code named as Fatman. If you want the video about Fatman, leave your comment below.